Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to another video. And this is my very first exclusive live with you guys here in the VIP group. If you did not already see the announcement over on my business page this week, I am shifting up my schedule just a little bit. And I'm going to be doing my live videos at Chocolate Laura on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. And then I'm going to hop over here for an exclusive project with you guys, my VIPs, at 9 p.m. on Sunday evenings. And that just will allow me to also do some fun things with you guys that we cannot do in other spaces. So I wanted to be able to do something just for you and also just be able to show you some new techniques and go into a little bit of details and then of course offer specials and cool things because you guys are the VIP group and I'm allowed to do that over here on the private side of things behind the curtain so to speak. So I'm really excited about that. I really wanted to do something like this for a while and I wasn't sure exactly how to make it work and then it was like of course I'll just take one of my videos that I'm already doing and hop it over here with you guys so I'm really excited about this change be sure to still follow me at Chocolate Laura hop on there Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll do my best to share in those videos sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't um, when I'm getting started but um, then we're going to do this one on Sunday at 9 p.m and remember there is a, a drawing every month for anybody who shares the video. So you can't share this one. You can't share the ones from this group, but you can share the ones from Tuesdays and Thursdays on Chalk with Laura. So be sure you're doing that. Hit that share button, sprinkle it with your friends, share it to your, um, your, your newsfeed. Every month I'm going to go through and, um, and see who shared the videos. And if you did, you get an entry and I'll send you a little goodie. Uh, we're going to do uh, a giveaway uh, with that. So and we're just wrapping up September here. So go over and share, share, share. You can share past ones too. You can, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be while it's live, okay? So, but it's cool if you wanna do it while it's live too. It's all good. Um, also coming up here in the VIP group is Punch a Cup. I'm so excited about this, guys. I've been working on getting together bundles for you um, for the cups, and we will be doing that very, very soon, early October. I've got a couple workshops coming up too that I wanted to let you know about. One is closing soon and that is our um, Bistro Sign workshop. You're going to get to make this beautiful Bistro Sign with me and it does say how beautiful it is to see a life lived in gratitude. So you'll get everything that you need to make this sign just like a craft kit. So you'll get the sign itself, you'll get a reusable transfer, you'll get um, the shimmer frost paste, which is what I used here, which is a beautiful shimmery white. You'll get a, um, a mini squeegee and a stir stick and a paint tray and everything you need to make this project. And then we're gonna be doing a Zoom together um, in early October. And that date will be voted on by the, the workshop participants. I only have a, a limited number of these two, by the way. So. Um, if you have not already gotten in on that, I'll put a link in the description, but, um, but you can put workshop in the comments and I will get you the details about it. It's $35 shipping included to do this workshop and we're going to get together on a Zoom and do it all together. So it'd be really fun, just kind of a different twist uh, on my craft kits and then you'll have that beautiful sign to be able to use. That is one of our chalkboard surfaces as well, so you can just use it over and over again for different designs. Also, the the other side obviously is going to be blank and it fits any five by seven transfer or you can even do bits and pieces of a larger transfer um, as well. So it's going to be super fun. I also have in late October a door sign workshop coming. And if you guys, I did make this door sign a little while ago, but I made a variation of it. I'm going to do a different one for this workshop and it's the one that's um, bless this day with grace and gratitude. And it's such a pretty saying and it makes such a pretty door sign and you'll get everything you need for that as well. So put door sign workshop if you want more details about that one. Um, I'm working on finalizing the details on that. So I'll, I'll definitely get them to you as soon as I know. But today we're going to make a fun farmhouse tray um, a little differently. So I got these furniture legs off of Amazon. Um, I look, looked for a long while. I'll put the link up in the description of where these came from because it's very hard to find small ones. Um, I've also seen people use, um, what do they use? Candlestick, wooden candlestick holders, like the taper candlestick holders. 
um, for this project as well. But I wanted a little bit uh, more of a chunky base and kind of low to the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a farmhouse tray using this Grayson 9 by 12. So this Grayson is just one of the frames that we, we sell just like it is, and it's a reusable chalkboard. It's a black on black, and you can also get um, black on white, but we're gonna do black on black today, and I'm gonna make a tray for the holidays. Uh, this is gonna be great to have just as a statement piece, uh, or you can actually, if you wanted to seal it, you could use it. So we're gonna use the transfer that says eat, drink, and give thanks. I absolutely, whoop, I absolutely loved this transfer when I saw it. And I'm gonna put it on the tray. So the whole idea is that if you could put like a, a piece of greenery or something right here, and it's a perfect centerpiece, statement piece, um, it'll be awesome. So we're gonna get started on this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these onto the bottom so it'll create the tray. Um, and that's part of the reason why I went with this black, uh, because these are black. So you, they, they were available in other colors. And then I'm going to go to the hardware store later today and I'm gonna get those felt circles and just put one on to protect my tabletop um, from this so that it won't get uh, damaged in any way. So that's our plan. We're gonna hot glue them on with some Gorilla Glue. But first let's get chalking and we will do our transfer. Just like always, if you're doing a new transfer, which this one is, you're going to fuzz the transfer. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz the transfer. Especially one like this because it's got a lot of open transfer space. So those transfers tend to be even stickier. You know, the more transfer space there is, the more sticky it is all over the place. And we're just gonna do this in really classic black and white. So I'm just gonna use my bright white. You can, of course, you dress it up if you wanted to with a, this is not good, with shimmer paste or something like that if you wanted. You do not want your transfer to fold over on itself like it's doing right now. <laughs> so if it's bad, you need to stick it under cool water and slowly, slowly, slowly peel it apart from itself because if it sticks to itself, now my transfer has all sorts of junk all over it. If it sticks to itself, um, you could ruin your transfer. So we don't want that, right? We do not want that. We do not want that. Um, in fact, it kind of pulled it a little bit there, but it'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna pop this down on my Grayson. And when I am finishing this off, I, I don't have a tiny screwdriver right next to me, but there is those tiny screws to hold the tray, I mean, to hold the picture frame, right? I am going to um, take those off. So I'm gonna remove the picture hanger parts later because I have, it takes a tiny screwdriver, you know, so these, these parts right here. So I'm gonna remove that, that way it, they're not in the way and it doesn't look weird. But for now, you guys get the idea, right? So let's do our, let's do our chalking. And I'm gonna stir up my paste here, the bright white, a little bit of water. I'm almost out of this one. I go through a lot of bright light. I like to use just nice neutral colors a lot of times. So you'll find me using bright white quite a bit. So I think it looks sharp. All right, so we're gonna stick this on here and go ahead and chalk. I am um, not gonna do the peel and chalk method today. I'm gonna just try to do it all together, one shebang, and hope for the best. But you could totally do a peel and chalk where you're doing this top little words part and then you're doing the thanks at the end. I'm just gonna try to do the thanks quickly and get all my excess off quickly and then be able to pull the whole thing up. So there's our thanks. All right, looks good. And we'll pull our transfer up. I am gonna pull slowly, as I always do, just to make sure that nothing is messed up with it. It's perfect. Of course it is. Ah, 
don't be silly, right? Of course, that's perfect. Nah. If you guys saw my video at Chocolate Laura <laughs> for for um for this sign, the Grateful Hearts Gather Your Sign, did you guys catch that? It's not always perfect. That's an example, a perfect example of what can happen and what you can do to fix it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, I do have a tiny little spot here on my letter. Let me see if I have one, my tiny, yes, I have my tiny bitty bitty paintbrush. And I might just try to put a, a tiny little dot of white paste right there. There we go. It was like minuscule, but I it was bothering me, so I did it. Oh, I did it. You guys know me. I had to have everything all kosher. All right, let's close up my paste, and I'll um, dry this off, and then I'll put the legs on so you guys can see what this all looks like, and I'll also show it to you here. Um, it looks really cool. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So there's a couple different things, you know, that you could put on it. So this is also just a really pretty frame, period, in the story, right? Um, you could just do this and hang it up because it would be great statement piece like that. But we're going to dry it. Actually, I don't really need to dry it because it's not going to, but we will put, turn this on. I need to turn my glue gun on. I don't really need to dry it because it's, it's recessed, so it's not going to get damaged when I put on these pieces. But then I want to show you what I'm actually going to do with it, a couple different ideas. Um, because you really could use this throughout the entire, well, you can use this year-round, to be honest. It's not just Thanksgiving. You could use it totally year-round. Um, but this is what I'm going to do with it. Um, all right, so we're going to flip it over. And again, remember, I'm going to get a small screwdriver and remove the, the hardware there because we don't need that. Um, these, these feet have two sides. They have one with holes. There's enough around, space around to, to be able to glue it on, and then they have a flat side. So I'm going to put the flat side down. Um, so that it, um, so that it has just the flat side showing. So I'm just going to put some glue here on my leg and I'm going to line it up right in the corner. So it's pretty much evenly in the corner. You guys can see that right there. Okay. And we'll repeat. On the next one. Again, right in the corner. These were pretty cheap. I think that the legs were maybe like $12 or $13 or something for all four um, on Amazon. But you totally could, like I mentioned, um, use candlestick holders. I've seen that done too, where you can paint or stain the candlestick holders another bonus these already came stained so there's that too so cute all right last one and then i'll pop it up right and show you guys what you guys can do there's so many things you can do i actually have ordered some of those little sisal trees for some of my decor um, and these would be perfect for that too. You could put some little sisal trees on there for the holidays, right? But year round, you really could use this. So here's the four legs and then it makes our cute little tray. Now, how, how stinking cute is that, right? You guys can see that on your side. How cute is that? It looks so nice and it's like already finished, right? It's a super easy project here, really easy. And then what I plan on doing is changing out the you know, greenery depending on what I want to do. So you could easily put a little piece of greenery right here. Or if, you know, I'm doing the pumpkins, I could put my little pumpkin trio right here, uh, you know, off, off to the side here and put that like this. How cute is that, right? And it still has the same saying on the bottom. So whatever you want to put right here, you can do whatever you want to with it. That's why I thought the sisal trees would be really cute on this as well. Um, and I am totally putting the deer, you know, like the deer are coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be doing projects with deer soon because those are part of the holiday line. Um, I'm trying to put my, I'm trying to be good and I'm trying to do the 
Thanksgiving and the, you know, the harvesty, finishing all that first before I hop right into those stupid, putting stinking cute deer, but don't worry, the deer are coming. So you could totally put like um, a little tree and a deer here because this saying, eat, drink, and give thanks could be year round. It does not have to be holiday specific. So that's just a couple ideas of things that you could do with your tray to make it super cute because it, it leaves you a lot of open space here. And then, like I said, if you actually want to use it um, for eating off of, you can coat this. Um, they even have some food safe, I think it's Mod Podge that sells a food safe. I'm not sure if it's a lacquer or what it is, but it's a food safe um, coating. So that's an option for you as well. You could do something with that's food safe. Um, I plan on just using it for decorative purposes. You could also seal it with a clear matte sealer if you're just wanting to use it for decoration. Couple coats of the clear matte sealer and then you could put things anywhere on the, on the tray. Um, I'm just gonna kind of keep them off to the side because who knows, maybe I'll change the saying on the tray at some point in the future to be something else. And I can always put this back on because you can do the chalkboard all the time, right? So this is so cute. I just love it. Give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up if you like this idea. And there is our cute farmhouse tray with eat, drink, and give thanks with the little feet on the bottom. Such a quick and easy project. You guys, you're gonna love this. Thanks for joining me on the video tonight. Um, I'm excited to do more videos over here with you guys in my VIP group. As always, if you have any questions or if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I'll still put the links to everything up in the description, just like I do for my Talk With Laura videos. And um, make sure you guys let me know what you want to participate in. So there's the two workshops coming up. Actually, there's going to be a third workshop. There's going to be that Be Merry um, banner sign that Chocolate Tour has. I've got a limited number of those as well. So we've got... Um, We've got the, the Bistro Sign, I can't even talk, the Bistro Sign Workshop, which is coming up first, early October, um, and that's almost closed. And then we also have the Door Sign, which is late October, and then the Be Mary is gonna come after that. So let me know what you guys wanna participate in. Limited spots, I'm keeping it to five per workshop. So I only have um, a limited number of people available, a limited number of supplies available for that. Um, but let me know in the comments or just private message me. And um, everybody though will be able to participate in Punch a Cup, that's coming up soon. I'll see you guys soon, have a great weekend, or oh, it's already the end of the weekend, but have a great week then. Um, I'll see you on our next video. Remember, hop back over to Chocolate Laura on Tuesday for Tuesday and Thursday over at 9 p.m. there. Come back in here, 9 p.m. on Sunday, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.